and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here, and in this video we're talking about enlargements, our first video on enlargements. Okay, so what do we need to know? Well, we need to know the following about enlargements, how to enlarge a shape by a scale factor, how to enlarge a shape by a scale factor through a center of enlargement, and to describe an enlargement. In this video, we're just going to do the first one, to enlarge a shape by a scale factor. Right. Um, the best way to do these is simply by some examples. Just before we do that, remember we're in the topic of transformations. There are four types of transformation, um, rotation, translation, reflection, and enlargement, and we're doing enlargements, the final one now. What is an enlargement? This is quite important. An enlargement is when a shape is made bigger, or smaller, in fact, by a scale factor of enlargement. The new shape is similar to the object shape. And by that, I mean the angles are the same, but the lengths are in a ratio or a scale factor. The lengths uh, are in a scale factor. Okay, so uh, let's have a go at an example. Here we go. Enlarge the shape by scale factor two. Well, we've got a rectangle here. It's got side two and it's it's got width two and it's got height four. So therefore, the new um, let's do the new width would be 2 multiplied by 2, the scale factor times 2, and the new height would be um, 2 multiplied by 4. So we have a 4 by 8 rectangle. So all we've got to draw is a 4 by 8 rectangle here. So that's 4 by 4, 8 as follows. And there we go. We have a rectangle that is uh, twice the width of the old one and twice the height of the old one. So it has width, this one, 4, and it has height, 8. Now you'll notice the area of the old one was 8 uh, units squared, so 8 units squared. That's 4 times 2. And the uh, area of this new one is 32 units squared. If you count up the squares, you'll find it's 32 by 8 multiplied by 4. Now, although the lengths have a scale factor of 2, you'll notice that the areas, how do you get from 8 to 32? You multiply by 4, so the areas have a scale factor of actually 4 times bigger, Okay, which is, happens to be 2 squared. So it's something worth noting, you're sometimes asked about that. Example 2, enlarge the shape by a scale factor 3. So we've got a shape that's 3 across the bottom and 3 high, and it's 2 high here. So therefore, our new shape will be 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9 along the bottom. It will be 2 times 3, which is 6 up that way. It will be 3 times 3 up that way, so that's 3, 6, and 9. And therefore, you can join the two edges over here like that. And you have your complete shape. Okay, so uh, we therefore have a shape that is 3 across, this new one will be 9 across, 2 up, will be 6 up here, and 3 up in the original, so it would be 3, 6, 9 up in this new shape. Okay, and the scale factor, the length scale factor we have is 3, the area scale factor is going to be 3 squared, which is 9. That means this shape is 9 times more area than this shape. Okay? Right. Uh, enlarge this shape. So this shape it tends to be, it, with diagonals, it's slightly harder to do. Well, what I do is I pick two corners. Uh, pick these two edges here. They're three apart. So on my shape, I might start up here somewhere. If I've got scale factor 3, there'll be 9 apart. So 3, 6, and 9. Okay, now this uh, one down here is one down, one across, so this will be three down and three across, and similarly one up, one across, three up, three across. 
And there we go, we just fill in the shape there. And that's the new shape, uh, which is uh, enlarged by scale factor 3. Right, let's try another one. Scale factor 2.5. Now this rectangle has width 4 and height 2, so the new width will be 4 multiplied by 2.5 which is actually 10 and the new height will be uh, 2 multiplied by 2.5 which is actually 5. So I'm going to draw this rectangle up here because we might need more space so we're going to go 5 high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10 across so that's 3, 6, 9, and 10. And this shape here is two and a half times bigger than the other shape, and we're done. Right, example five enlarge the shape by scale factor third. Now, scale factor third actually means the shape, um, the sides of the shape are being divided by three. Or we multiplying by three uh, by third each of the sides. So this side here was three six, and this height is three. So we could do the new width. The way you could think of it is six multiplied by a third, which is two. Or you could think of it as six divided by three, which is two. And the new height is going to be three multiplied by a third, which is one. Or you could think of it as three divided by three, which is one. So therefore, our new shape here is going to be two across and one high, and that is our enlarged shape by scale factor a third. So we've dealt with cases, uh, very simple cases, scale factor two. We've dealt with slightly more complicated with one diagonal line, even more complicated with lots of diagonal lines, a scale factor of a decimal, and a scale factor of a fraction less than one i.e. reduction, not a, an enlargement, is, a, is actual shrinkage. So I've got two exam questions for you to try. Pause the video, have a go. In five seconds in each case, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, uh, this shape is three across, two up. The scale factor is three, so we're going to be nine across and six up. So drawing this in here, get your rectangle out, so we're going to be 9 across, so 3, 6, and 9 across, and we're going to be 6 up, so 3 and 6, as follows. Okay, and that's the new shape. Now how many times bigger is that shape? Well, this shape, the area, this area is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 times 3, and this uh, area is going to be 9 multiplied by 6, which is 54. If you do 54 divided by 6, you get that it's 9 times bigger. So the lengths are 3 times bigger, but the area is 3 squared, which is equal to 9 times bigger. Okay, next one. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so we're asked... A uh, triangle has been drawn, drawn on a grid. On a grid, draw the enlargement with scale factor 3. So this shape is 2 across and 1 up. So our new shape is going to be 6 across and 3 up. So just get your ruler and let's go 3, 6, 6 across. Let's go 3 up and let's join by our diagonal there. And that is our new shape. That's an enlargement by scale factor 3 and we're done. So in this video, we've covered everything on how to enlarge a shape um, without a centre of enlargement, either with whole numbers, uh, decimal numbers or fractions. Thanks very much for watching.